So Marvin Snoop Menace is a Florida State Hall of Famer, man. Yeah. Uh, can you walk us through when you got that news and the emotion? It was crazy, man. They called me the day before, and they told me, Snoop, uh, answer all your calls from the 850 for the next 24 to 36 hours, right? So I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm, whatever Florida State asked me to do, I'm going to do it. So I ain't think nothing of it, you know? So when I hung up, as the day went by, I'm like, what was that about, you know? So then I started thinking, and I'm like, Am I about to be in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> you know? So I asked my son, I told my son what happened. I was like, son, you think I'm about to be in the Hall of Fame? And that's what it was. Coach Novell called me the next morning. And um, I still ain't think nothing of it because me and Coach Novell, we talk all the time. Yeah. You know, so he called me, I'm just chopping up with him, asking about the family. Uh, he asked him about my family. And then he just broke it to me, you know, like, uh, I want to congratulate you. You know, you've been inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I just got so emotional, man. You know, Florida State means so much to me. You know, and to get that call and um, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame means everything, man. You know? I don't know if that's like a goal you ever had, but I mean, the fact that you, no. you're able to, I mean, you, your, your no. career's been over, but the fact that you're still being appreciated, I mean, can you yeah. can you describe that? Yeah, I mean, it's a great feeling that you're appreciated, but I didn't play the game for that. I played the game to win. I played the game to win championships, you know what I'm saying, and do my job, you know, so, and that came along with it, you know, so my main focus was just um, win the championship. That's why I went to Florida State, you know, I wanted to win that championship, so, and do my job, make plays for the team to help us do that, and the end result wound up me being in the Hall of Fame, you know, which, which is a great feeling. I mean, it's a pass-happy game this day and age, but, I mean, your season in 2000 stacks up even now, 20 years later. I mean, did you have a feeling? I know you kind of waited your turn. There was so much talent mm -hmm. for us. That, mm -hmm. Like, did you have a good feeling going to 2000 that, I mean, you obviously it was your time to shine, but that you had that kind of season in Yeah, I had a great feeling. I knew I was going to dominate. I really knew. I told, the, I told the media, you know, I just needed my opportunity. You know, I played with guys like Peter Ward, E.G. Green. E.G. Green actually going in the Hall of Fame with me. You know, so, um, you know, I played with a lot of great receivers. So, um, I just never thought about waiting my turn. I thought about doing my job when I got my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's, that's, that's what it was, you know. But um, that's it. What was your favorite touchdown, and why wasn't it the touchdown from Winky against Clemson for 98 yards? Or was that it? You know that what? was my favorite. That's my favorite of all time. My, my, my favorite my favorite game is um, the 2000 Florida game. Uh, my favorite touchdown, it, it, my most memorable touchdown is the 98 yarder. You know, um, that play we didn't even practice that play. For. Really? We didn't practice that play. But you know, coach had his gym plays. You know, so that was one of his gym plays. So um, he didn't want nobody to see him. So we practiced that. We, we walked through it, you know, inside. And it worked out perfect, you know. But yeah, I would say that was my favorite touchdown. Like when, the, when the play was called, were you like, this is perfect? Or were you like, oh man, this is really, really risky? You know what? I didn't even think about it. I always thought about just making the play, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even realize we was that close to the end zone, you know. Whatever play is called, my first thought was just to do my job, you know. So, but when the play was in, in motion, when I went in motion and I saw the defense they was in, I saw the safety was down. I was like, oh, this, I was thinking in my head, oh, this is six, you know what I'm saying? Because all I had to do was just go and crash and pretend like it was a run and sell it from there. And I got wild open and 98 yards later in history, you know? So. When, when you came out the break, was it like, don't drop it, don't? Because like, you know you're going to get no, a score touchdown. Oh, man, I never thought about dropping the ball. That never crossed my mind. No, I'd be in the zone, man. I'd be so much in the zone. It's like, it, you know, you, I'm in the zone. I don't see nothing. I don't hear nothing. I'm just so focused on the ball. I never thought about dropping the ball. Oh. I know college for some people is four years, mm -hmm. but, but Florida State for you seems like it's just, it, it's still in you all this time, Larry. I mean, what, what does that university mean to you and what does it mean to a lot of these guys that are out here? It means today? everything to me. You know, Florida State is, is, is my heart, you know what I'm saying? I give everything to Florida State. I gave everything to Florida State on that field, you know, and I still do now, you know, so all the booster events, you know, whatever. Coach asked me to coach talk to the team. I'm there, you know, whatever time I have to go work with the players, you know, show them, you know, give them some advice, you know, mentor them. I'm there, you know, Florida State means everything to me, you know. I mean, it gave, gave me a lot, you know, and um, I love it. I love Florida State. I'm representing my nose wherever I go, baby, all day, every day. <laughs> and it means a lot to the guys as well. You know, we very, I love the fact that we're very supportive of each other, you know, even though we came from different eras, you know what I'm saying? I love that. That's the family vibe that I first got when I went to Florida State.